You are watching a KTVB News Group special presentation. Innovative Educators, presented by CapEd Credit Union. We've come to the end of another school year, and this was a school year unlike any before it. The COVID-19 pandemic forced teachers, staff, students, and parents to adjust to unprecedented circumstances. They had to learn or teach remotely or under hybrid schedules for much, if not the whole year, and follow strict safety protocols when in school buildings. Our educators really rose to the occasion and showed just how innovative they can be. Today, we celebrate the incredible, invaluable, indomitable, innovative educators of the challenging year that was. It's the 2020-2021 Innovative Educators Special. And welcome to this Innovative Educators Special. I'm Doug Petcash. Over the past school year, we featured nearly 40 educators who found their own unique ways to engage, excite, and enrich their students. I wish we had time today to honor them all, but we will give you a good sample of these shining examples of teaching excellence. You can find all of their stories under the Innovative Educator tab on KTVB.com. Now, we begin near the beginning of the past school year. Back in September, we raised the question, what's the difference between a setback and an opportunity? Some would say it's all in how you look at it. The innovative educator you're about to meet saw the setback of closing schools in the spring of 2020 because of the pandemic as an opportunity to try something different. She taught in the classroom for two decades, but this year made the switch to full-time online teaching. I was really just up for a challenge. I thought that it would be fun. I, I enjoy technology and I enjoy trying to find creative ways to reach kids. In the spring when we had our shutdown, um, I just took it as a huge opportunity to be able to connect with families in a different way. And it went well, so I thought, why not? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. And Boise Online School sixth grade teacher Lisa Stitt hit the ground running moving. and walking. Okay, so there's my feet. I'm moving. So I'm kinetic energy. Walking around her neighborhood on what she called the potential and kinetic energy field trip. She pointed out different things that were potential energy, a parked car, and kinetic energy, a moving stream. I think it's important to be engaging. I get bored fast, so I need to be moving and engaging myself. So, And I'm also not afraid to be as ridiculous as it takes. Such as rigging up this roller coaster contraption made of pipe insulation, a cardboard box, lots of masking tape, and a marble. So I needed to increase its potential energy by adjusting some of the height on this, okay? So as I went like this then, I could see that it would go better and this would loop up and come up to about here. The creative curriculum has had a domino effect. The kids came up with personal projects on potential and kinetic energy. Watch the domino bounce off the guitar strings. Another student got the ball rolling on her own idea. And if I were to push it, it would have kinetic, kinetic energy, but right now it is not moving, so it has potential energy. Miss Stitt also wowed her students with a live launch of a homemade rocket captured in slow motion. Just the shock registering on the kid's face, I think it entices them and brings them back wanting you know, to know what else is gonna happen. Throw in theme Fridays, including hat day and pajama day. Oh, it was hilarious. Kids had blankets on their heads. They had their sleeping bags beside them. And you have plenty of evidence of someone making the most of a new opportunity based in a lifelong love. Lisa Stitt. My mom has a journal of me in fourth grade. Uh, saying what I wanted to do with my life and teachings it. Innovative educator. Miss Stitt wanted to give a shout out to the whole team of nine sixth grade teachers in the Boise Online School. She says that they all work and plan together really well. I ask every teacher I interview what they love about teaching and they all say the kids. It's all about them and they go above and beyond for them. At Notice Elementary School, the school mascot is the Pirates. Principal Jen Wright has proven herself to be a real Pirates treasure. The person who nominated her as an innovative educator said Wright always makes sure the staff and the 183 students have what they need. She helped deliver produce boxes to families this summer. She even hopped on the school bus to deliver breakfast and lunch to kids who were learning remotely. Then there's the Socktoberfest sock drive for women and children in a local shelter and the Christmas giving tree she started six years ago. This year, 11 anonymous notice families in need received gifts of toys, board games, books and clothing. Wright also applied for and received a grant to create an after-school program called the Pirate Learning Center, and the list goes on. 
She may be the captain of the pirate ship, but says she couldn't sail it without her incredible crew. You know, I think it's an honor that someone, you know, thought enough about turning this in, but it really should be my staff and, you know, that received this um, recognition because, you know, yes, I am the principal, but it's, it's a team and we're all in this together. At Council Elementary School in the town of Council, Misty Cook is giving her students a growing sense of accomplishment and community through their green thumbs and dirty hands. She created an after school gardening club and a project she calls the Roots of Self Reliance Project. The kids planted, tended, and harvested a long list of veggies in the school greenhouse. Some of that went into the salad bar in the school cafeteria. They transplanted other plants into their small plot in the Council Community Garden. They also teamed up with the Adams Soil and Water Conservation District on a pollinator garden to attract and feed bees, butterflies, and hummingbirds. And children will look at a plant like the first seed that they grew and they will just be in awe of the fact that this plant grew and that they grew it. And they'll jump up and down and squeal. In Eagle, the high school band director at North Star Charter School wanted to make sure his students could still play as a band, even though they all couldn't meet up to make their music. Tammy Tremblay introduces us to him. Playing Chopin together. Music isn't something that's quite as fun when you're, you're doing it by yourself. A.J. Davidson is the high school band director at North Star Charter School in Eagle. We're doing like a blocked hybrid system. Okay. So I'll see half the students one day and then I'll see the other half the next day. He says that's hard when you need every instrument to play a piece like this. <laughs> But you thought of a way to bring everybody back together again, didn't you? I did, yeah. Um, so it started last year with the fully remote at the end of the year. I, I'd heard people playing around with the idea of the virtual concert and and collaborating, whatever, putting everybody's recording, mixing everybody's recording together and creating kind of a large ensemble end product. He needed recording equipment to get it done, and with the help of the school and a CapEd grant, it all came together. And what you're hearing is the basic, the mixed audio of the two groups performing together. Do the kids seem to appreciate it? They do, they really do. I um, mean, it's really exciting too. Like I mentioned, we're a small group, right? Yeah. And so uh, oftentimes, even in the past, when we were all together, we'd still be missing a few parts. Um, oftentimes we wouldn't have enough clarinets to be able to play all three clarinet parts or, or whatever the case may be. Um, so with this, we're even able to take it another step further and um, have some of my students record multiple parts, essentially. Um, my percussionists are able to record um, a snare drum and then a bass drum. And so we're, we're finally able to put together a recording that has all the different parts that it's supposed to have. They feel pretty cool too, the idea of the headphones and I got a microphone. And <laughs> they feel They're professional. professional. Yep. It's a big accomplishment for Davidson, who says all the work he put into making this happen certainly has paid off for everyone. Do you feel like you are an innovative educator? I feel like I put a lot of time into this, so I, I mean, it feels really good to be recognized for that. Good. When kids learn to play chess, they can also learn to think deeply about the decisions they make in life. Felicity Steers stands by that philosophy. That's why she rallied to get the game of chess into her third grade classroom in New Plymouth. Okay, so okay. Tammy Tremblay caught up with her too. Explain to me why you like having chess part of your curriculum. There's so many things that go along with chess. It's not just playing a game. Um, not only are there these great academic skills that are learned, there's math and critical thinking and logic. Okay, so that's a capture. But she says arguably the life skills learned through this game are the most notable for her students. Skills like patience, planning, flexibility, and sportsmanship. Steers was awarded a CapEd grant to bring chess to her classroom and two others in New Plymouth. So about 75 students there got to learn to play chess and to learn those other life lessons. On the first day of school, Burley Junior High School teacher Jessica Johnson asks her students to draw a scientist. She says about 98% of the time they draw someone who looks like Einstein. She's working to change that mindset so they can see themselves as scientists. 
She does that by giving her life science students fun but challenging projects and experiments to carry out, such as building a bridge over an ecosystem using only marshmallows, toothpicks, and two styrofoam cups. The students in her human body class even designed a website focusing on resilience and the science of the human brain, a project about preventing suicide and helping people through tough times. Her approach appears to be working. They're always really excited to try something new and they're not afraid to make mistakes, which is a huge part of being a learner and a scientist. And some kindergartners in Nampa are seeing themselves as mini meteorologists. As Bree Eggers shows us, thanks to their innovative educator, the forecast for their future is bright. These kids at Park Ridge Elementary in Nampa are becoming mini meteorologists. I liked it because I was all about rain. I learned about the colors and how they go in order of the rainbow. Kindergarten teacher Jennifer Crane says it's called expeditionary learning. It's a kind bears today. Here's some plastic raindrops. In a module called Weather Wonders. Our unit actually started with um, showing part of Channel 7's weather forecast. By the end of the unit, you will know those words and you will be able to do them. In this classroom, all of the learning is happening under one big weather umbrella. Weather was our main topic, but it wasn't just during our reading block. It was throughout the day. So with the math, we learned how to graph weather. We learned how to do simple bar graphs and which ones were bigger and lower. And we were able to do trends in our weather journals for a good three week period. Math, reading, science. So we made rainbows using prisms. We made clouds using shaving foam. The kids crafted their own globes and maps to learn about geography. Oh, no, we are in Napa, Idaho. Our weather today is sunny. It's 50 degrees out. It was just amazing to see not only the weather facts they learn, but just general knowledge that isn't really in our standards, but it's things that they need to know anyway. Crane says oftentimes just reading a book about the weather would lead to other clouds of thought. Every day they were so engaged that if we did not talk specifically about weather that day, oh well, they want to learn about that, let's yeah, go on that tangent and learn. The students were also charged with the task of writing and revising their own stories about weather. Winter storm felt cold after playing in the pool all day. Revision, even with kindergartners, is powerful. After playing in the sun all day. At the end of the three-month weather unit, they showed off their new skills of the skies at a weather expo. And they were so proud of themselves. That's where I started with, but now look at my finished product. Jennifer Crane is igniting storms of thought in her students. Just the empowerment of studying a topic and really becoming experts. She's an innovative educator. And Jennifer Crane says she sent off all of her students' stories to a publisher so the class could have all of their hard work from the weather unit preserved in a hardbound book. Coming up next, being a good teacher takes a lot of character, and sometimes it takes a lot of characters. A few teachers pulled out all the stops to connect with their students, and some kindergartners even got in on the act. You may hate the color rouge. Well, now it's sapphire blue. Why stick with something you despise? So in life, throw you uh-ohs. Just say, better get me go. Members who opened high-yield checking accounts in the past two years have contributed over $200,000 through our Get 100 and Give 100 program. For us at CapEd Credit Union, it's a big achievement. It means that over 300 schools across Southern Idaho have received funding from our members. Zoom in and it gets more interesting. Over 40 programs, ranging from special education to robotics to drama, have received tens of thousands of dollars. We're proud of our members and the way they help us support the education community. So, how will you give your 100? You, with your masquerading and you always contemplating what to do in case heaven is found you. Hey, come on, baby. It's your eye candy. It's your adrenaline rush. It's your turbocharged adventure ready lunch hour dirty little secret.
the Hyundai Santa Fe. It's your journey. Own it. Right now, lease a Hyundai Santa Fe for only $269 a month. See your Bronco Motors Hyundai dealer. You may hate the color rouge. Well, now it's sapphire blue. Why stick with something you despise? So in life, throw you uh oh. Just say, better get me go. Welcome back to our Innovative Educators special. The real name of this next Innovative Educator is Sherry Redmond. But her fourth graders in Mountain Home have also known her as Athena the Artist, a mad scientist, the plant doctor, Queen Bee, and Clem Cadiddlehopper. Hey there, I'm Clem Cadiddlehopper, and this is my good friend, Mort Salt. How are you? Clem and Mort paid a visit to Sherry Redmond's fourth grade class at North Elementary School in Mountain Home to share a nugget of Idaho gold mining history during an online lesson. Gold was discovered in the Boise Basin in 1862 by George Grimes. Remember old George? I do. He's funny. God. Funny, funny guy. God rest his soul. <laughs> my grandpa used to pantomime records and he had a character that he, that's what the name of the character was, was Clem Cadiddlehopper. When the pandemic forced schools to go to remote learning back in March, Redmond started concocting characters along with her sidekick, teacher's aide, Brenda Dorr. It's just fun to work with people who think like you do, as crazy as it sounds. <laughs> she has portrayed Athena the artist with helper Penelope the painter. And they got instructions from Athena the artist to go and do different rubbings and different textures around their house. A kangaroo. We were studying Australia. A clown for an ocean lesson. The clown, we did clownfish. The plant doctor. I wanted to do, uh, show how plants take up food and nutrients. And a mad scientist. And let's go with this. Did you see it pop up the, the lid? This last spring I made paper at home in my house and then videoed it and I was the mad scientist making paper. Her performances are getting rave reviews. After Clem on Friday, I had one little kid go, that was crazy. So they, I think they like it. She plans to keep creating characters to keep connecting with the kids when they're at home. I just thought we've, we got to keep them on here and keep them coming back and keep them engaged. Redmond says she's never worked harder in her 27 years in the classroom, but it's all worth it because she loves teaching and she loves the kids. I, f I think I feel more comfortable with short people than I do with adults and um, they have that sparkle in their eye. The richest gold mining locations in Idaho, I found them. One was Atlanta. Clem Cadiddlehopper, I mean Sherry Redmond. It's pretty neat when you can build a relationship with them and they um, respond to it. Innovative educator. And Sherry Redmond isn't the only teacher with a lot of character. But I became well known in 1917 on posters to recruit soldiers for the United States Army to fight in World War I and again in World War II. And so I became a symbol of motivation to recruit women of all backgrounds to get jobs at the factories. At Boise's Mabel Grove Elementary, fifth grade teachers Andrew Rath and Kelly Holder portrayed Uncle Sam and Rosie the Riveter for a history lesson. They said in the past, Americans rallied around these two icons for a common cause, the war effort, and that seemed like a good message for the kids who had to rally around each other to get through a school year affected by COVID. The PE teacher at Vision Charter School in Caldwell is quite the character with a big personality. Oh, Mr. Berg, I caught it with two hands. Now can you catch it with one hand? One hand. Right says there's a serious side to teaching, but you can't take yourself too seriously or the kids won't have any fun learning. And in a challenging COVID year, he made it interesting whether the kids were learning in person or online. It's been a really trying year. And if you can, you know, grab something and, and make it fun for kids, you just, you do it, you know? And, and what do you do? You just let that go. Gotta make them laugh. Yeah. yeah. And kids can be characters too. Some kindergartners in CUNA have become artists and Arctic explorers, wedding planners, and cardiologists. Their innovative educator is helping them transform into what they might aspire to be someday. 
About once a month, the kindergartners get to open the door to a whole new world at Crimson Point Elementary in CUNA. They walk in just in awe and really excited about the day and what we're going to do. On this day, they became baristas at Starbucks. Um, we had pastries where they had to match the uppercase letter to the lowercase letter. And ran a hot chocolate stand. Where they actually took orders and then at the end of the day we served our staff. It's what kindergarten teacher Debbie Ryan calls a transformation day. A transformation day um, is an opportunity for my littles to experience a career or maybe a possibility of a dream to just inspire them um, while we're learning our standards. More recently, they transformed into cardiologists, complete with lab coats, stethoscopes, a play x-ray machine, and stuffed animals for patients, a chance to learn the basics in a hands-on way. Simple addition where two hearts were, a heart was separated. They had to find the two and find the sum with the, therm the thermometer. Um, color words, syllables. The kinder cardiologists really got into it. 100%. We call them doctors all day. They called me the chief of surgery, um, and we kept those roles all day long. Some kept the role all night long. Their faces say it all, and their parents even write back and say, they went home and they were a doctor all night, or I had to get a shot. The littles, as Ryan calls them, also got to be artists for a day. Another time they acted as Arctic explorers and even worked as wedding planners, planning the wedding of the letters Q and U because they always go together. We talk about schedules and times and how to make everything fit together. For each profession, transformation days are only one day, but they can open the students' imaginations to what they could be one day. I just hope that they become lifelong learners so that they know um, we, they could be anything. Debbie Ryan is happy to be a kindergarten teacher. I love that I teach kindergarten so every day is an ex a new experience so we learn something every, every single day. She's an innovative educator. Well, with the temperatures really heating up, let's turn the clock back to Christmas. Next, we'll introduce you to a teacher who pulled off a holiday program that turned out to be a true gift for her students and their families. <laughs> look at the way, so you see there's a strawberry in there, but look at the way that the crust, like the graham cracker crust is like sprinkled on it. Piece of art. Sonic cheesecake glass. This is really good mouth art. Yeah. This is Pretty Litter, the world's smartest cat litter. It's ultralight, super absorbent formula traps odors, and its crystals change colors to help you monitor your cat's health. Plus, Pretty Litter offers free delivery. Order today at prettylitter.com. Affordable? Yeah, we got that. Stylish? Got that covered too. Quality? You can bet on it. At Furniture Row, we take pride in furniture that's value priced, built to last, and makes your home look amazing. And during the epic summer sale, everything is on sale. Like the Fulton sofa, only $4.99. The Glenwood bed, just $5.49. Plus, five years, no interest, and free shipping. Shop the largest selection at the lowest prices guaranteed. The epic summer sale, on now at Furniture Row. Members who opened high-yield checking accounts in the past two years have contributed over $200,000 through our Get 100 and Give 100 program. For us at CapEd Credit Union, it's a big achievement. It means that over 300 schools across southern Idaho have received funding from our members. Zoom in, and it gets more interesting. Over 40 programs, ranging from special education to robotics to drama, have received tens of thousands of dollars. We're proud of our members and the way they help us support the education community. So, how will you give your 100? At Treasure Valley Subaru, we want to help you buy a new Subaru. Or a new to you, pre-owned vehicle. Brand new. Certified pre-owned? Uh, brand new. Used? New. Used? New? Used? New. Used? Because you got cheesecake and you got ice cream. So when you put the two of those together, does that, does that make it one thing? I'm not even listening to you right now. Sonic Cheesecake Glass. I'm really having an experience here. This is <laughs> Coronavirus precautions made it impossible for Pioneer Elementary School in Weezer to put on this year's holiday program in person. But music teacher Tori Thomas still managed to have her students perform together, even though they couldn't really perform together. And especially our children, they have been affected so much from COVID. They've lost a lot of opportunities in the Christmas program being one of them. The excitement of being able to put on their program and prepare their program and then go on stage and wave at mom and dad and grandpa and grandma. And I mean, a lot of these kids haven't even seen grandpa and grandma since all of this started. That did not sit well with Tori Thomas. 
Music is, is one of their favorite things. How do we keep that going? The music teacher at Pioneer Elementary in Weezer decided to keep that going with a virtual Christmas program. The preschoolers and kindergartners took a star turn. The first graders delivered a free-spirited Feliz Navidad. The second graders magnificently mastered Marshmallow World. And the third graders crooned Christmas is a Feeling. While the kids appear together in the video, they never got together as a group. I just had them stand in front of the, one at a time in front of the green screen and had them record their little portions and then I just snipped them together. Mrs. Thomas put the whole high production value program together herself. I had some experience with production in, um, in college doing theater and whatnot, so, and I did a little bit of editing. It was a big hit. The fact that we were able to give them that opportunity, families to see their kids smiling and from a different viewpoint still have that uh, the show, the curtains going up, their kids are smiling and they're waving at them and you get all those cute little moments. I, I really think that's something you really can't put a price tag on or um, measure. It's, it's invaluable. And for innovative educator Tori Thomas and all of her students, it turned out to be the perfect way to say... Pretty cool, huh? Thomas also teaches lessons outside of school. This year, her middle and high school students dressed as Charles Dickens characters and sang Christmas carols for people around town who might have been lonely or needed a boost. Well, thank you to all of our incredible teachers and educators who always bring so much passion to their profession and strive to give their students the best possible leg up on the next grade or the next step in their lives, especially during this weird and challenging school year. We appreciate you. That wraps up our Innovative Educators special. Thank you so much for watching and to all of our educators who worked so hard all through this past school year. Enjoy your summer and maybe things will be all back to normal next year when we bring you more Innovative Educators.